Nothing is new with me. Yeah, how do you like them apples? Let's get to it. So, boom, here comes the intro. Boondock Saints. Now, the interesting thing about this film is that it only really exploded after it came out on DVD, and I think that's kind of that's kind of saying something because it, it's it's usually the opposite way. Usually, when it comes out, it's huge, uh, or you know, it'll make a lot of money. And then afterwards, when it comes out on DVD, if it sucked, it won't make anything. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I, you know what I mean. Uh, this film is about two Irish brothers, brothers, man, the brothers, who effectively get a sign from God. Shepherds, we shall be for thee, my Lord, for thee. And start taking out the trash of society. I think I think that is all I'm gonna say about it, and I'm gonna I'm only gonna say that because basically we all know what the film is about. It's just maybe you might have a friend who's never seen it, and then they should probably watch my vlog and be like, "Holy shit, I should see this." So in this film, we have several actually uh, quite a fair amount of well-known people and um, the thing is like they weren't relatively well-known before but they are now so one might argue that this film helped their career as opposed to hindered it not that you know what I mean like it's, it's not that they would have been hindered by the film anyways but whatever so the first actor that we have is a guy by the name of Sean Patrick Flannery. Is that right, Rambo? And he plays a one of the Irish brothers who cleans house. Plain and simple. Um, the second actor in this film is a very currently famous actor and um, you know what he, he's probably in my opinion he's probably one of the most underrated television actors of all time although there are a lot of people who love him and his acting is great I don't think he gets enough props for what he does and that guy's name is Norman Reedus. And we will send you to whatever God you wish. Now, most people know Norman Reedus from uh, The Walking Dead. He is the uh, crossbow shooting son of a bitch. And um, you know what? He's, he's awesome. I can't say anything else about it. Like his character in this film, his character is hilarious. He is... Another one of the, or no, I shouldn't say the other one, he is the only other brother, Irish brother, and um, 
he also cleans house. I, like, literally, I have no idea what else to say about these people without giving it away, just in case you haven't seen it. Um, Sean Patrick Flannery and Norman Reedus actually assassinate people, but they assassinate people because they had a sign from God, or what they believe to be a sign from God. So in this film, we also have the actor slash producer slash all around strange looking fellow, Willem Dafoe. <laughs> I'll start the ass kissing with you. Now Willem Dafoe, he's kind of a sleeper. Like every movie that he does, his role is always played like an absolute champion. The guy is awesome, he's a great actor, like phenomenal, in my, in my opinion. I mean, you might think opposite. But um, in this film, he plays an FBI, um, let's say, let's just call him an FBI detective. And what he does is he's basically trying to figure out who is doing all of the murders of these societal trash pieces you know what I mean like all these people that the that the Irish brothers are murdering Willem Dafoe is trying to figure out who killed them uh, in this film we also have a an actor by the name of David Della Rocco oh, fuck it there's so much shit that pisses me off in this film he actually plays an Italian mobster oh, let's clarify he's an Italian who works for the mob um, I'm pretty positive in this film the guy doesn't uh, he hasn't made his bones yet meaning that he hasn't um, he hasn't become a full member of the Cosa Nostra if you will uh, a full member of the mafia I think he's just kind of a um, um, like muscle basically you know what I mean so the last character in this film that I want to talk about is actually more well known for his comedy um, than his acting skills I guess um, that's not to say that his acting skills suck because they definitely do not um, he um, he's actually a really funny comedian uh, to be honest with you for lack of a better word, he plays a hitman, but he plays a hitman for the mob. So it's kind of opposite of what the um, of what the uh, Irish brothers are doing. But uh, this actor's name is Billy Connolly. Now Billy Connolly is an old fella, and like I said, he is a comedian. But he has done acting roles, and in this film, I think his acting is absolutely brilliant. Um, I have nothing bad to say about it, and that being said, I am going to rate this film. Now, keep in mind, this film is a cult classic, and not all of you guys will agree with my rating of this film, but I think the fact that this film has always kept me entertained, and it's always kept everybody I know entertained, and I find the acting is brilliant, and I thought that the, the plot, the whole storyline, the whole premise of the film, I thought was actually quite unique, and therefore, I am rating this film the magical 10 Bickering Brothers. You've lost it, haven't you? No, I'm serious. Me too, that's stupid. And then one thing, you're gonna need a rope for it. I don't fucking know what you're gonna need it for. They just always need it. Out of 10. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, 10 bickering brothers out of 10. So I hope you enjoyed that short review. Um, I really suggest you check out Boondock Saints if you already haven't. Wait, if you already haven't? That was stupid, that was redundant. I suggest you check out this film if you haven't, and if you have already, check it out again. Um, that being said, I am the werewolf. Thank you for watching Werewolf at the Movies, and I will see you guys later.
make like a tree. And get the fuck out of here. I'll catch you on the flip side.